All right, so today we are here in East Texas. We brought the old lady fishing. She doesn't come out too much. We, we've got a babysitter, but, but before we get into fishing, I want to let you guys know this shirt, this is the new Guggen Squad shirt right here. All the money that we're making off these shirts is actually being put forth towards uh, a project that we're working on together. We're all going to be doing like, we're going to be making another YouTube channel and the money that we're making off these shirts is going towards paying for those trips that we're doing. We're all going to be going to like remote locations throughout the world and filming. It's all going to be done on one channel, one whole deal. Yeah, thought I'd let you guys know if you guys want to get one of these shirts and support the group, they'll be linked in below in the description. But other than that, let's get into today. I want to try to get her on her personal best bass. I don't know really actually know what is your personal best. Do you know? No. She has no clue. But I think it was like this big. So I just got to beat this big a bass. And uh, that should be the plan for the day. Fish? Oh, she's got first fish on. Keep reeling, just keep reeling. Well, that's your biggest fish for sure. Whoa, keep going on. Get a high stick, keep him going. There you go. I'm not gonna help you. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, that's how you break a rod. Reel, 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 reel. And just keep him right there. See, you wanna leave a little line out like that. There you go. There you go. Wow, you barely had him hooked. There you go, here's your biggest fish. How do you hold it? Just like that. Well, she's got her biggest fish ever right there. Hopefully, we'll be able to beat it later on. What do you think? You excited? Yeah, it's pretty cool because the last one was the size of my hand. <laughs> you can put him in the water. There you go. Well, that was quick. Let's get on some more. There we go. Small one. He's off. Well, that was my first fish of the day. Very, very small fish. I saw him come out from underneath that tree over there. And hit it. I'm just slow rolling a little spinner bait. The bite is very, well, let's just say it's very slow at best. Oh, there's another one. So, all right, we might move the moving baits. That's two fish and three casts. There we go. Okay, we're going to move over to some moving baits. We were just throwing Senkos and that was not working at all. Look, he sideswiped it. He didn't even get it in the mouth. That is a, well, well, let's just say that's not a toad. Fish. Fish, fish, fish. Finally with a Senko. Sorry about the wind noise. Finally, a first fish on the Senko. It is a very, very, very slow bite here in East Texas. All right, big issues. Trolling motor's dead. It's not good. We've only been out here for like two or three hours. Time to head back in. We're gonna go hit up some Applebee's. I feel like Mike right now. You guys ever seen that episode of Mike Gets Stuck? His worst bass fishing tournament ever. I'll go ahead and show a clip from that and why I feel like that. All right, we got some minor technical difficulties. This trolling motor has five speeds reverse, three speeds forwards. This is the fastest it can go, which is super slow for a 55 pound thrust. Oh boy, I'm getting blown back faster and further away from the boat ramp. The tournament is still at the hour left, but this calls for drastic measures. I need to reduce the weight of this boat as much as possible. So, all right, buddy, you can get an early release. Come down. Oh, this is a workout. That's the stuff. You know, at least it's not really hot out. I'd be in a really, probably not in a very good mood if it was really hot. I'll just count this as my, uh, my daily workout. I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna run into town because I am hungry and she is hungry. This is kind of I guess you'd kind of call this a date, sort of. We're fishing, but that boat needs to be charged, and I don't feel like sitting here waiting for it to get charged. So we're gonna run and grab some Applebee's, and of course, like always, I'm gonna take you guys with me. <clears throat> okay, so after that glorious 
cheese enchilada. We ended up going to some little Mexican food joint. It was not really the greatest. I've been thinking though. I think I may, I may not have pulled my head out of my rear and I think we're gonna go catch some actual fish now. I think the moving bait's a key. I think moving bait's key. We're gonna throw in some square bills. Or she's gonna throw in a square bill. I'm gonna try to also teach her how to use a bait caster because that's probably something pretty important. Start off by throwing this thing again. Well, I haven't thrown this at all. A little, little square bill. Didn't bump off the log that time. Into the log. Trouble first. Got it off. Got that sucker off. All right. So the reason why we're going south on this little, little tiny body of water, this little lake, is because the north side, all the pads are dying, and it doesn't seem like it's a very good, good area for bass to be chilling. So we're gonna come down here. We haven't really fished much down here, so let's go knock this thing off, this sucker off some logs. There we go. Came out from underneath the boat, huh? Ah, Sanko fish. It hooks it. You want them? Little bitty mojo rig Sanko for the win. Oh, little baby Sanko, black and blue, black and blue. Yeah, the, lip, the little square bill wasn't working, so I had to go to Old Faithful. Yeah, I'll put you Waikiki Rig Sanko on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook her up with the Waikiki Rig Sanko so she could stop throwing this, uh, this old chatterbait and not be in such a bad mood. So we got her hooked up with a uh, Waikiki Rig Sanko. This is probably one of the best ways to throw a Sanko to catch numerous L. Gundo, that's not even a word, is it? Oh, Gundo, I don't even know what that means. J giant bass. J -j 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 here we go. I don't even know what I was trying to say there. So yeah, grab, flick it, just like that. There you go. Now let it fall, just let it fall. And if you feel the tap, the line's gonna jump. If you do that, just lift up. In two or three seconds, go ahead and just kind of twitch it back, just kind of like that. There you go, kind of reel up your slack. And that's pretty much what you do with the Senko. That is what you do with the Senko. First fish, first fish. Oh, huh? I I had one. You did have one on. That was for sure a fish. Like I got one right now too. Little tiny one. Little tiny one. All right, she just had her first fish on a senko, but it came off. I've got another dink. My first fish. Now you had the big fish for the day so far, for I sure. Know. I'm gonna stick with the Texas rig weedless. She's throwing the uh, wacky rig. Seems like we may be on something. Who knows? I am not a professional fisher guy. There's a fish. Another little one. Every single, every single grass clump like this we've came across along this entire dam has had a fish on it. Every single one of them. Now we just gotta get her to link up with one. She did, like I said earlier, but she all she said was it feels like it's heavy weight. And uh, when you're teaching somebody how to use Senko, that's pretty much what it's gonna feel like. For the most part, your line's just gonna get heavy and you're gonna be like, holy crap, is that a fish? Usually at that point, it's probably too late. And this Senko may be toast. Nah, it'll be good. It'll be good, it'll be good. Oh, there you go. Take them off yourself. There you go, first Senko fish. Not nearly as big as the one you caught this morning. Oh, oh here's your, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Here, just put your hand around the little ones like this. Hold that back fin, or the right there. See that? That's the that's what's gonna get you right there. Put your hand on them. Okay, so the look. Slippery. I just push down. And now, okay. see that? There you go. Baby fish. That is a baby fish if I've ever seen baby one. Fish. All right, so now she knows what a senko fish feels like. Let's see if we can get something a little bit bigger in size. So all you guys I don't know much, these rubber things, when you guys are working with the uh, wacky rig worms, see if that rubber, if the rubber uh, rings weren't there, this would be completely destroyed. It wouldn't be any use to us. But we're just gonna turn around the other side and get back at it. Here we go. Little tiny frog fish. There we go. Oh, he, 
He wanted that. Holy crap. You wanted that sucker. It's perfect. Wow, that's a good, good little deal there, huh? One with a little darker frog. All the other pads that are way over there in the sun, and I'm not really in the mood to mess with those, but these isolated pads right here, these isolated ones, I will throw a frog every single time, especially if they're in the shade just like this. I've been watching them feed all throughout here. Well, she got her uh, whopper plopper stuck pretty good about a story or two up in the air. Oh, no, now it's now it's real tangled. Let's see if I can rip it out of this tree. Hold on. Just make sure I don't hit you in the... Oh, I got a, oh, there we go. Good to go. Oh, brand new. All right, so I actually gave her my frog and she's gonna be using a little black frog that I've been catching stuff on. I was just reeling to the shore and I had one blow up on it, just reeling it in. So I'm just gonna switch over to a yellow one with a pop in front and I'm gonna let her try to catch her first frog fish. Oh, first cast, keep going. Oh. I wasn't recording. I was in the middle of still tying mine on. That was a pretty good strike. You gotta let them take it though. That scare you? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty awesome though. Well, let's do the same thing. Throw it up on the shore, let them take it, and then set the hook. Oh, look at that little baby bass. Yeah, I just watched them come right out of the grass. Quick, real quick. Little baby one. I watched him just come. All we want her to do is catch one fish on that frog, and they're just all in this grass. We just need one good blow up. And we can call it quits. All right, that's it. I'm calling it for right now. <laughs> well, that is it for today. I'm glad I came out with her. Glad she came. She never gets to come out and fish. So I got the teacher behind the scenes. Hashtag teaching the world to fish. My style. The bass are still hitting on the shore. We weren't able to link up with any frogfish, which kind of sucks for her. Uh, she will at some point. This t-shirt, this one right here, is basically gonna help me and the rest of the Guggen Squad travel the world and fish for you guys. It's gonna be a totally separate project done on a different channel, highly edited stuff, and only uploaded one time on one channel. It's a very, it's a new idea. We're trying to, trying to get it done. So with your help, we're gonna do that. So uh, other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow morning at the same time every single day.